Manipulating Light presents a new world of possibilities for researchers at the University of Pittsburgh. A research team led by Dr. Hong Ko Kim is harnessing the power of light and doing it at a scale that is significantly smaller than a wavelength of light itself. I see the table pressure. Picture holographic patterns etched on metal surfaces that change the way light interacts. And imagine this on a nano scale, much smaller than a wavelength of light. Dr. Kim's field is called nano-optic research, and it may well provide the next major revolution in equipment miniaturization, especially in the fields of spectrometry and imaging, for use in applications such as point-of-care medical diagnostics and battlefield detection of biological and chemical agents. The real potential or impact of nanotechnology is that it brings new capabilities or new functionalities that cannot be observed or can, that cannot be derived from existing you know, micro or macro scale phenomena or device technologies. But actually the, the process that we developed is uh, involving uh, two or three steps. One is a nanoscale patterning uh, using optical or holographic process and then those patterned substrate needs to be processed such that uh, the pattern needs to be transferred to wafer. That involves specifically etching the wafer or substrate materials. Virtually any case or any area that involves light, I think this nano-optic research development will somehow make a big impact. Whether one understands the research science or can only begin to appreciate the implications of the emerging new technologies, it may be easier to recognize the fundamental curiosity in the person doing the research. Well, personally, certainly, I, you know, always like asking myself why and how, you know, so that curiosity or eager to learn something new or explore, I think which is quite important to everyone. It may start with curiosity, but it proceeds with careful work, collaboration, and dedication. The question here is, can we overcome those limitations by introducing the nano-optic structure? At the University of Pittsburgh, we're excited about the future of nanoscience and its applications. To me or for us, that is the most rewarding uh, thing if we develop something more practical or useful applied uh, you know, uh, based on this. That is because of our curiosity in, in exploring something new.